The best college laptops need to meet more requirements than portables for your average user, while keeping the price affordable for college students. These notebooks need to be robust, thin, and relatively lightweight to have a long battery life and performance to meet a student's demands. That's why we rounded for you the best college laptops that balances affordability with everything one needs for college or high school. All the laptops are linked in the description and updated for best pricing, starting with the Acer Chromebook Spin 311, the best budget option. The Acer Chromebook Spin 311 is more than just a great little Chromebook, showcasing impressive levels of versatility as well as satisfying interaction. And you Usability. It's among the best Chromebooks 2021 has to offer, even if it originally came out in 2020. What is even more impressive is the price tag under $200. Yes, you heard it right. Sleek and subtle in its design, while sticking to an obtrusive black, the Acer Chromebook Spin 311 might just be the Chromebook you'd like on you whether you're going to a work meeting or attending a college course. The diamond-shaped pattern detailing on the back of the screen is a nice touch too. Embedded into the black chassis, the keyboard and touchpad are as easy as ever to use on a Chromebook. Satisfying and punchy, with pleasing clicks and actuation, even typing and other menial tasks are satisfying. However, the keyboard despite being the same size as on other Acer Chromebooks does feel a bit small due to its place in a smaller design. The screen is really good, though a bit of a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it is clear and easy to use touch screen and tough, being well protected by the Gorilla Glass. But on the other, it is a bit too small and also a bit too thin. It's also surrounded by very thick bezels, which feels like a lot of wasted space. The design may have required the large bezels in order to incorporate the toughened glass touch screen and overall robust design, but it feels like a bit too much potential screen real estate has been lost. Overall, the Acer Chromebook Spin 311's design might make it feel a bit small for some users, but if you want something inexpensive that is going to survive the occasional bash and knock, then this Chromebook is definitely one to consider. Despite having a modest component set under the hood, the Acer Chromebook Spin 311 always handles whatever is thrown at it. Having far too many Chrome tabs open, running and listening to YouTube or Spotify and messaging on apps all at the same time never reveals any stuttering or trouble that the AMD based hardware supported by 4 gigs of RAM can't cope with. Underrated and understated in performance, it's a consistent little workhorse of a Chromebook. As a result, all in, the Acer Chromebook Spin 311 is a great machine. It offers good value, it's very fun and versatile, and you can do anything on it that you can other more powerful Chromebooks. If you like the size and want a reliable Chromebook with a touchscreen, this is it. And for less than $200, you can't ask for more. The number 2 on this list is the HP NV X360 15 2021, the best 2 in 1. The HP NV X360 15 is nearly in a class by itself, as far as 2 in 1 laptop performance goes. Combining some dominating CPU and graphics cores with well built design, fantastic display, outstanding battery life, and an incredible price around $800. The HP NV X360 15 it's right in the sweet spot between the lower end HP Pavilion X360 and the more premium HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptops in both price, performance and specs. But it isn't some undercard contender. The HP Envy X360 15 is one of the best 2-in-1 laptops of the year. Even if it isn't the best choice for everybody, the design is well built with an aluminum alloy chassis that helps it feel sturdy, if not heavy, and more attractive darker metal tone. The touchscreen display on the other hand with up to 400 nits of brightness, the HP looks great inside and outdoors sitting at a coffee shop or we imagine on a work site. Using the NVX360 in tablet mode isn't the most natural feeling experience you can get with a 2-in-1. It will never really let you forget what it is. And though Windows 10 tablet mode itself runs just fine, the laptop's weight and noticeable bulk when being used as a tablet might put some people off. The HP NVX360 shines in its performance though, making the most of its power full Zen 3 Ryzen CPU and absolutely performing like a top tier laptop. The Ryzen absolutely exceeded our expectations, with impressive performance and running noticeably smooth and snappy. It absolutely holds its own against the more expensive 2-in-1s. The Radeon GPU equipped Envy outperforms it 
rivals run an Intel Iris XZ in some cases by a substantial margin, and where things get closer, the Envy still came out on top. And while its battery life isn't the absolute best we've seen recently, it's definitely high up on the leaderboard, if not the actual podium. So the HP Envy X360 15 is already one of the best HP laptops we've seen this year. But when you factor in the incredible price to performance ratio, we've got one of the best values for a 2 in 1 laptop going. And the best laptop for students is the Apple MacBook Air M1 2020. The MacBook Air M1 2020 has given Apple's slimmest laptop line a giant leap forward. With the manufacturer's highly acclaimed Apple M1 processor, it has become among the most powerful thin and light laptops. Thanks to this new chip, the MacBook Air not only gets additional performance boosts but also better power efficiency and longer battery life. And all that while sticking with the same pricing as its predecessor, meaning less than a thousand dollars. This new Air therefore offers upgraded internals, particularly that M1 chip, without any additional cost. If you weren't impressed by the Intel based model, then maybe this one will change your mind. Considering the price points of premium Windows 10 competitors like the HP Spectre X360 and the Dell XPS 13, both of which are pricier, the Air's price tag looks even more competitive. You can also go for a more powerful MacBook Air with extra storage for an extra, and both of these can be further customized with more memory and even more storage. Price-wise then, we think Apple has nailed it. Of course, this certainly isn't a cheap laptop, but not does it feel overpriced, especially compared to its similarly specced rivals, something that Apple has been accused of in the past. Apple has also been accused of caring more about the aesthetics of its products than the actual features and functions, but with the MacBook Air M1 2020, we actually think that the opposite is true. This is because while the new MacBook Air has some huge changes on the inside, most noticeably the new M1 chip, on the outside, nothing has really changed. So this model looks and feels just like the last model. For people who love the look of the MacBook Air, this may be good news. When it comes to performance, however, we have no qualms. The M1 has proved to be a complete beast that puts Intel to shame in many respects. Mac OS Big Sur runs well and the visual overhaul of the operating system offers a nice change, while still feeling familiar. The fact that both new and legacy apps runs well on the M1 chip is very commendable and so far there don't seem to be any issues with running apps built for Intel Macs using Rosetta 2, the tool used by Apple to allow older Mac apps to run on the M1. Also, the fact that you can now run thousands of iOS apps and games pretty much flawlessly is a huge win as well. Battery life also seems to be fantastic, and the fanless design is nice as it means the laptop runs silently. The MacBook Air is better than ever, sporting excellent performance alongside its brilliant battery life, without raising the price to keep it fairly affordable still. It's not going to be the cheapest option for students, but for those who have a slightly bigger budget, this is the best student laptop to get.